Hi, I'm Patrick Olson, Suburban Dad for Cars.com, and we're out here today with the 2008 Toyota Sequoia. Now this car is great if you're going to take your family on a road trip. It's got lots of space, lots of room for people inside, including adults, in the third row. The Sequoia is a big car, very bear-like in its shape, and a little more squat than in previous generations. But as you see in the back, there's a little bit of room for luggage here, but maybe not enough if you're going on that long road trip. Still, what you can do is take your luggage, pop down the 40% seat in the third row, and now you've got a whole new world open to you. In a lot of SUVs today, if you're an adult and you get shunted to the second row, you have some dread about that because often there's not enough headroom or legroom. But in the Sequoia, there's really lots and lots of space. Very roomy for the head, very roomy for the legs. And I think even on a long trip, adults would be comfortable here. Now from the point of view of a parent, what's great is you can have two like captain's chairs in the second row and you've got this divider between them that keeps those kids from getting to each other and annoying each other in long hauls. And in many SUVs, the third row is worse even than the second row. But in the Sequoia, flip up the lever, move the seat out of the way, and you can really climb into the back very quickly. I'm six foot one, and I gotta tell you, that was incredibly easy, and I still find it very roomy. And when you pull the second row back, you'll find that there's still plenty of legroom if the person in front of you has left some space. Now the Sequoia comes with the typical amenities one finds in a big SUV. It's got the navigation system, it's got the tri-zone climate controls, it's got the MP3 jack, which I'm telling you, when you're on the open road in the middle of nowhere on your way to Disney World, you're gonna want that. And also it's got this ginormous storage bin in the center that you could put a small child in there, but of course that's completely insane. A lot of people are worried when they drive big SUVs because they're afraid that it's gonna feel too much like a truck. And the Sequoia is very nice. You feel very tight into the road and in control. Now, the Sequoia's got a great big engine in it, and it's got great acceleration. In fact, much better acceleration than I expected. I'm used to great big trucks like this taking a while to warm up, but this one has really great acceleration right off the stop. Now, with that great acceleration, though, you've got to watch your gas mileage. I drove the Sequoia for more than 100 miles and used about a half a tank of gas. Ouch. So I would say that you get great power, but you're going to wind up paying for that power at the pump. The Sequoia's got plenty of room for you, other adults, and your kids. But you gotta remember with all that space and all that great acceleration, it's likely gonna cost you in gas mileage. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.